Visibility could be a huge problem for you this morning. Just one look at our Frankfurt Live weather bug camera reveals what we're dealing with. Now, it's not as much of an issue in Fayette County. Fortunately, we're still showing 10 miles visibility here, but Frankfurt, three tenths of a mile. Zip in Richmond, you're down below a quarter mile. And the same in Moorhead and Flemingsburg, where you're down to those zeros. That's where you could see the worst as far as pretty much no visibility and a very slow, if not hazardous, commute. Now, we've also got issues with colder air. So when you see that little notation there on our dense fog advisory map, uh, where you see those counties lit up in gray, that's where the dense fog advisory is in effect. But you can also run into something called freezing fog. And the reason being is, well, we're down in the upper 20s. It's 28 degrees in Lexington. It's 29 in Flemingsburg. It is 27 in Frankfurt. So bluegrass counties, not only do you have low visibility, you may end up with some icy spots on the roads. You may have to scrape your windshield briefly before you head off to work this morning. Uh, southeastern counties, not a problem. Upper 30s, even some low to mid 40s for the current temperature. Now, the Max Track Live is clear and is going to stay that way into the weekend. There's just the slightest chance there may be some stray sprinkles, some showers trying to take hold into our far southeastern counties tomorrow. This is after our Friday. As we go into the afternoon, that morning low cloud cover and fog mixes out. We'll end up mostly sunny tomorrow. A little bump in cloud cover, just a hint of moisture. And you're seeing a few sprinkles across southeastern mountain counties. I don't think it's going to amount to much of anything. And then that's out of here. And all the while, through the weekend, we're continuing to warm up. So for the first weekend of December, we're now officially into meteorological winter. It's the beginning of December. This is some good stuff, and you want to take advantage of it because we could be pushing 60 degrees by early next week. Let's get a quick update on snow cover because it's not all that impressive across, across the uh, lower 48. This is where most of the snowpack is. It's up across Canada. This is uh, satellite analysis here, but it holds north of Toronto. There's a little hint of it in northern parts of uh, Vermont and New Hampshire. Most of it locked up into the mountains out west, as you'd expect. And we've had a trace amount of snowfall, that uh, little round that came through. Uh, earlier in the season. We've yet to have measurable snowfall in Lexington, which is a tenth of an inch or more. Uh, so what's going to come our way toward the middle of the end of next week definitely is on the interesting side. Number one, we've got the potential for our first significant cold snap digging in around the middle to the end of next week, roughly about the Wednesday through Friday time frame. And if we sink some moisture up at it, it's a slim chance and it's still a ways out there, but we may even see a chance to see uh, some wintry weather. So uh, that's uh, the, well, those are the two things you got to watch out for as you get out toward, especially the end of next work week and leading into that uh, upcoming next weekend after this one. Morning fog, mostly sunny, cool, and dry later today. Highs in the low 50s could see some mid 50s down south tonight, only down to around freezing. Tomorrow, your Saturday, you know, bump the cloud cover up a little bit, maybe some sprinkles southeast, highs in the mid 50s. End of the weekend, sunshine, upper 50s. Monday, low 60s. When it's that warm this time of the year, something's got to give, and it does. Middle of the week, the rain hits, and then, well, a little bit of everything could be coming our way. <laughs> oh, golly, Moses. Tom, thanks.